All right, here we go is the rundown of the stereo and the Suburban. Start with the Optima battery. Done the big three upgrade. I'm not gonna get into how to do that. There's plenty of videos for that. Got the ground there. A ton of Dynamat. Hear the difference there. Oh, I got bad light here. All right, Pioneer head unit. It's a AVIC, uh, I think it's the X850BT. Pretty good head unit there. It a uh, GPS, DVD, all that stuff there. Then moving down here, we've got Focal kicks. I built these kick panels. My first attempt at it, not very happy with the way they look, but uh, we will be uh, doing some upgrades in the future and those will be coming out and some different ones will be made. Got a uh, Pioneer component sets in the driver's door uh, in the factory locations. And then for the sub right there as you can see that it switches for uh, to cut the power off of, through the remote wire for uh, when I remove the sub box out of the back that way I can cut the power off and not have the wires sparking and arcing there because uh, I still you have to use this thing as a truck every now and again all right there's a driver's side kick panel and there is the driver's side door all right Moving back to under the back seat. There's the amp rack that in the previous video was lit up at night. Uh, two Alpine amps. These things are workhorses. Uh, one of them is a MRV 500, I believe, which on the burst sheet was putting out over 600 watts at two ohms, which is what it's wired in. Uh, then the first amp closest to you is the MRF 300. It's what I'm running everything else with. Uh, very versatile, very good amp. Highly recommend it. I've put three or four of these, uh, excuse me, four, six of these in a uh, customer's vehicles. Never had one complain or come back. Clarion crossover, just because I'm old school and like a little control that the crossover gives you. And uh, here's the uh, power acoustic one and a half or two farad capacitor. Uh, helped out a lot with the light dimming and everything of this uh, truck. Uh, and then to the back. Here's the completed box. Uh, saw it in a previous video, it was unfinished, just a test run. Uh, this right here, this is just a little smudge from a propane bottle actually, because this is my wife's daily driver. We still use it as a everyday get us around town vehicle. Couldn't be without the Suburban. Uh, I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy. And uh, this thing really, uh, it really sounds good for what it is. I try to do a lot more with a lot less as far as the wattage and stuff goes because I didn't want to be too obtrusive with the speaker placement and everything inside the Suburban. So it's all still pretty factory. Uh, I can slide this out here, unhook the wires right there and fold the seats up and we can still use this truck to do whatever we need to use it in. So uh, tell me what you think. Give me a comment. Peace.